Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to deploy application gateway in Azure. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, so you, you remember that we created a virtual network in the last video when we were deploying the Azure load balancer. In here, virtual network is needed for the communication between the resources that we create. So two subnets are created in this uh, video. One for the application gateway and the other for the backend servers. So we can create a virtual network at the same time or during the creation of the application gateway. But first we need to create a subnet for the application gateway to reside in. So you see that I have a my VNet already created. I go to my VNet. If you do not know how to create a virtual network, you can watch my last video wherein I created a VNet, this VNet, to have my two VMs in the subnet. So in this, you click on subnet to add a subnet here under settings tab. You click on subnet. You type in my app gateway subnet. As soon as it comes up, okay, my app subnet address range would be 10.0.1.0.24. NAT gateway, I'm not going to select. None route table would be none. No service endpoints. No subnet delegation. I'm going to click on OK here. and it will deploy the subnet in my existing my VNet. So as soon as it is done, I'm going to click on home here. I'm going to click on create a resource. All right, under networking, you can go to application gateway or you can type in application gateway as well. Here you see application gateway, click on it. All right, this comes up. So for the name, I'm going to resource group. I'm going to go with the load balancer resource group that we created in the last video. The name of the application gateway would be my app gateway. Region, I'm going to select would be East US. And then standard V2 would be my tier. I'm not, I'm going to use enable auto scaling to, yes, I'm going to minimum scale units to zero, maximum scale units to 10, availability zone to none, HTTP2 to be disabled, and virtual network, I'm going to select my VNet in which I created a subnet. All right, I'm going to click next for the front end. Under front end configuration, uh, ensure the IP address type is set to public. And uh, under the public IP address, you can create a new one, like we'll add a new one here. And that would specifically be used for this. So this would be my AG public IP address. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to click Next for the backends. There are no backend pools here, so click on Add a backend pool. We can enter the name as App Gateway Backend Pool, so it would be App Gateway Backend Pool. Under backend targets, select virtual machine. Here. And we're going to add both the VMs, my VM1 and my VM2 that we created. My VM1. 
here also my vm2 and click on add perfect click on next for the configuration in here we'll connect the front end and the back end pool we created using a routing rule so this is my front end it is my public ip that i created for the application gateway this is my back end pool i'm going to add a routing rule here to connect both of these So I'm going to click on add a routing rule here. It's going to come up. I'm going to enter the name as my routing rule. It's a bit slow today. My routing rule. So the routing rule requires a listener on the listener tab within the this window. We'll enter the value for the listener name to be my listener. And the front end IP would be public. The protocol would be, let's go with 80 HTTP. And the listener type would be basic. Error page URL would be no. I'm going to click on add here. Oh, I'm sorry and on the this tab backend target tab, I'm gonna go with the backend pool and you remember we created app gateway backend pool which has both of my VMs and uh, for the HTTP setting I'm gonna go with backend target is this I'm going to click on add new HTTP setting name would be my HTTP setting all right backend pool would be 80 backend port would be 80 I'm going to go with the disable with cookie based affinity and connection draining request timeout settings would be 20 and override with the new host name I'm gonna go with no I'm gonna click on add and I'm not going with any path based routing here so you can route traffic from this rules listener to the different backend target based on the URL path on the request okay i'm not adding the path based routing i'm going to click on add here i have added a rule now i'm going to click on next to move to the tags and then review and create and i'm going to click on create it is creating my application gateway and i'm going to test the application gateway when it comes up all right this seems to be created i'm gonna go to here it is this is my application gateway and if you want to test the application gateway Come to the application gateway on the overview you will have this uh, front end public ip address click on it again we're gonna paste it in the private window and do this here it is it is working as fine And if you want to verify, let's go to Network Watcher. Here it is. 
here is the network watcher let me click on topology under monitoring and then I'm going to select my resource group here it is and if you want to select this is my VNet and here you see and let me here you see under topology that I have my backend subnet this is my application gateway subnet and uh, this is the app gateway backend and this is the load balancer and uh, this is the gateway subnet from which the traffic is going and just just a just a warning that uh, if you want to continue if you want to just go to the resource I'm gonna to go to my resource group because I'm gonna delete all the resources that I created the virtual network virtual machines application gateway load balancer and everything else I'm gonna to go to my resource group and I'm gonna delete the resource group so that I don't get choice so this resource group has this these things public IPs load balancer NSGs VM disk application gateway everything so I'm going to copy the name paste it here and I'm going to click on delete it's relating so I hope you you liked this uh, video if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and I see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day